this problem we have a pretty typical looking bar graph and you can tell it's a bar graph because it has bars that help you count the results of a survey and a bar graph is really easy to use once you get the hang of it um, you have to just be just be aware that on the bottom we usually have one type of um, group or variable in this case that's students and here is usually some kind of number or you can call it a frequency if you're feeling up, up for that word and all this bar graph is telling us and some of the problem got cut off up here but I'll tell you and you can tell from the title it's about a jump rope contest these are the four students involved and the bar if you follow it up for each student it tells you how many jumps they did right and they ask two questions here they say how many jumps did Jason do and then it got cut off here but I'll write it part B says how many more jumps did Kai do than Renee and by how much so we have Kai and Renee you can see that the Kai's bar is harder so how much more did, did that person jump than Renee right in the jump rope contest so first let's find out how many jumps Jason did well when you're doing this look at the bar they give you followed all the way to the top right that's the height of your bar and then look over and follow it that's the number that this bar represents so here Jason did 20 jumps for Kai what they did if you look follow up on the bar that's how I use my bar graph I read over and see that it hits 40 right so Kai jumped 40 times what about Renee well here's Renee's bar right here if you follow it over to the left we get 25 so to find out how much more Kai jumped than Renee we can use subtraction 40 minus 25 and that's just 15 right so Kai jumped 15 more than Renee and that should help you with that one alright thanks